Say hello to Anna. Anna is a working mom, which means that she doesn't get to spend a lot of time with her son Alex. So, she decides to take a break from her work for a week and take Alex camping. Anna has planned everything out and she knows that she and Alex are going to have an amazing time camping. As Anna expected, Alex just loves the outdoors. They explore the wilderness, meet new animals and insects, investigate various plants, prepare food, and play fun games. Then the night comes, and it's time for Anna and Alex to go to bed. Wait, what's going on here? Alex doesn't want to sleep. He's running around, and he's crying, and when he finally does get inside of the tent, he just can't fall asleep. So the next morning, Anna is tired, Alex is tired, the sun is tired, the world is tired. Where did this go wrong? Well, it turns out that this Anna and Alex are not the only ones to have this problem. Most parents of young children have a hard time going camping with their kids because the kids just won't fall asleep. After doing some interview, we discovered that working moms need a way to gradually acclimate their kids to the camping environment because children can behave unpredictably in foreign environments, which manifests itself in many ways, including weird sleeping patterns. So after a lot of brainstorming and prototyping, we came up with our solution. My first tent. The idea behind my first tent is to give the kids their own space within the camping environment, kind of like their own room that they would have at home, in order to make them feel more comfortable in this foreign environment. It's a space just for them where they can feel like they're in charge. Let's see how this works for Anna. A few months later, Anna hears about my first tent, and she decides to give it a try. During the day, like before, Anna and Alex have lots of fun. Then, when the night comes, Anna's a little bit hesitant, but she takes my first tent out. Oh, what's happening? Alex is excited to go into his own tent. Anna is tired, so she falls asleep, resting easy knowing that Alex is safely within her tent. But Alex gets to spend his own time in his cozy little tent, reading books and playing with his toys, until he's ready to fall asleep. Eventually, he does, and everyone is happy.